It's another edition of Long Time Toolies here. I got my hearing protection, even though I probably won't need it today because I'm not really going to be making anything. I just got to tell you something, and I think that it sounds good. Surprisingly, these headphones make your voice sound good too. Who would have known? Anyways, last week we did a little show where I made a bench and I complained about my miter saw a lot. God damn it. Stupid ass. Harbor Freight saw. Unbelievable, dude. Every fucking time. Terrible. Every time. I gotta get a new miter saw. That's the next get. New miter saw. This Harbor Freight thing, it did its job at first, but it's falling apart. So I'm gonna tell you why I think that there's some tools that aren't like a spatula. A spatula you go, any spatula is a spatula. You get a spatula for 99 cents, you get one for $400. A spatula is a spatula is a spatula. When I started doing this show, when I started fucking around with a little bit of home improvement stuff, I thought that would be the same for a sauce. So I drove my yellow truck all the way down to Harbor Freight, not that far, it's like 10 minutes. Drove it down there, found a miter saw, had a coupon, because they always have coupons. I think I ended up getting it for like 89 bucks, 99 bucks, something like that. It's like under $100. I was like, this is going to last me forever. Not so fast, my friends. I'm going I'm to show you why. One reason why is because all the little bolts in here start falling out. They use cheap, cheap bolts. So you can see here, it starts to strip out just a little bit whenever you try to tighten up the spindle lock. That one comes out. That should never come out. This little bad boy that for some reason, some un godly reason it makes it oh i see fuck i think it actually broke there's a little break off point here i don't know if you can see it or not but it broke off in there so you have this screw that's up here and it constantly moves up and down even if you find it tighten this nut somehow whenever it shakes because it is a pretty powerful saw it shakes and shakes and shakes and comes out this thing is fucking worthless this doesn't do damn near anything this little clamp that keeps everything down there for you, so you can make a little fence this thing stinks it takes forever to work it got, gets loose constantly because a lot of the parts are plastic even though it looks metal somehow all these parts are plastic the parts that actually matter are plastic then we switch over to this side earlier this came down look now when I move this look when I move this thing this is supposed to go up it's broken. The thing that came with it, the screw that came with it, it's stripped out, so it just keeps falling out. Can't fix this thing. I don't know what to do. Maybe somebody that has more experience with me than me knows how to fix these types of shits. Remember, it took me five hours to put on this stupid thing. It's still not correct. Thing is messed up. Man, I don't understand what was so difficult about getting all the pieces right. It's still not correct at all because it constantly comes loose. This thing's a piece of shit. Just a piece of shit. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I am gonna get rid of this bad boy. I gotta get it out of here because it's pissing me off. Every single time I take a video, it's messed up whenever I have to do the miter saw. Last week my cuts were off. Even if I had the fence, when I did the I had the stupid little bench that I was making. The fence was fine. It was fine. The fence was perfectly fine. And next thing I know, the cuts aren't even. How does that happen? It's because the blade, when it comes down, it has wiggle room. A miter saw should not have wiggle room when it's locked down. It's locked down and it still wiggles. No more wiggling. I don't want to wiggle. So what are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to throw this thing in the fucking trash. That's what we're going to do. All right, so one of the best parts about living in an area that is overflowing with construction is that they have these little construction pods that you can take stuff to and kind of donate, kind of dump if you don't want it anymore, and somebody will come along and get it. It's beautiful. 
I don't know if they're going to get rid of all this wood. I would love to take this wood, but that might be stealing because they're not done. So I'm not going to do that. Piles of wood everywhere around here. Don't show that sign, Kyle. Don't let people know where I was. I don't know if that's good. Oh, God. Don't show that either. What? <laughs> oh, love it. Hope somebody enjoys. Drove off with my motherfucker. Well, that's that. No more shitty harbor freight going on inside the old garage. Like to have that thing gone. Don't know what I'm gonna get to replace it, but you definitely can't have a respectable shop without a miter saw. We'll see. I'm gonna have to do some shopping around Amazon, Lowe's, wherever. Figure it out. Who knows? We'll see though. See you next time.